Today we're installing tow mirrors on my 94 Chevy 1500 Silverado and we're gonna get them put on. All right, so here's a look at the new mirrors. Here they are extended and then back in. So here's the stock mirrors to come on it. It's pretty basic, nothing much to them. From Unit Motors, I just got mirrors from one of my other trucks from them. Uh, you can check out that video. First, I will leave the link and the pictures and all that stuff because these mirrors fit a lot more than just this one truck. So I will leave a link and you guys can check all that out. So there'll be some pictures at the end for you to check out, and we'll get to the install right now. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna need to do is pull off your door panel. Actually, taking the door panel off is pretty easy. Um, there's just two screws that are down here. Get two screws in there. And then around the edges of it, it has little pop rivets. You gotta pull pull it off. So once you got those two screws out, then you're gonna have this black piece. That black piece just kind of sits on here and it's got, you gotta kind of pry it off. It's got these little clips all the way around it. And you gotta pull, pop those off. That's all the easy part. Getting off this, your door, if you have a manual crank, this goes right here. Getting this off is the kind of the trickiest part. On the truck, it's got this little clip right there. Okay, so that's how it looks like actually installed. You have to be able to pry this lip. So if you can get to the lip, and you just kind of push it off. And then it'll kind of, it'll just unclip. So this is how it looks on behind the door. And typically, the clip is facing in the same direction as your handle. There are other videos out there try to help you sh how you remove the door handle on a, uh, a Chevy truck. This is primarily how to install the mirrors, but you know, just trying to show you because you're gonna get into this and be like, how in the world do I get my door, my window crank off? It can be a little challenging, but um, it's actually the hardest part of the whole install. All right, so in the back of the door, it's a bunch of these little clips, like these little clips like this. So all the way around the door. Slowly pull off on corners and work your way around. Okay, so we got to take off these bolts here, and this is where that uh, 10 millimeter comes in handy, so you can get it inside here and back in there. Okay, I already took it off, but this flex head, you know, without the ex extension and just the 10 millimeter, it fits in there just nice. You can also use a wrench, um, a 10 millimeter wrench to get in there, but this for me. It, ratchet made it a lot easier so I'm gonna go ahead and take these bolts out and we'll go on to the mirror okay so on the back of the mirror it comes with extra stuff so this will this won't be in there when you get it you just have these two bolts you have to insert this one so it goes in just like that okay and this is long for a reason and I'm gonna show you that so this is for the anti-vibration so your mirror doesn't vibrate when you go down the road. So we're going to install that right now. All right, so it goes on just like this, okay? It's got this little ear right here to help it so it don't kick. And it's a little longer here, so it goes all the way back to the frame in the back. And then you got to put the nut on to here, and it's got this lip, this lip right here that kind of holds it on. So that way when you're going down the road, your mirror is not like vibrating everywhere. So I'm gonna go ahead and tighten that up and then we'll take a look at it. Okay, so here's a look at it when it's finally done. It's a pretty easy install, not a whole lot to it. Um, it does come with instructions. I'm gonna post the pictures at the end and all that good stuff of all the necessary paperwork that it comes with. And uh, you guys can make up the mind for yourself whether or not you wanna get them for your truck. Um, I do think they look nice. They do add a lot more visibility when you're towing stuff or even just riding down the road. So guys, I thank you for watching and until next time guys, see you.